Thank you for joining us today at the LDRS Creative YouTube Tutorial Channel, where we hope to inspire. Hi, this is Tammy Louise with Tammy Bay TLC. I'm here today working with an all-dressed up image that's brand new for LDRS Creative, just released in um, January at CHA. And some of our other new products, we have the gilded embossing folders, the gilded oval die set, and the Creative Basics um, pierced oval set. I'm going to use all of those die products today in the project. The first thing I'm going to do is cut the Copic colored all dressed up um, image. A girl can't have too many. These are just now um, ready for pre-order in the store, so if you're interested in them, they are available for pre-order. You run it through and this does a beautiful job cutting. The stitch marks are adorable. And you run it through also um, on the embossing side so that the center of the stock paper bumps up and embosses and I'll show you in a few minutes what I do with that. I actually take it out and get some of the Tim Holtz distressing out and uh, go around the edges just to give it a little bit of a shadow. Um, what happens at that point when you take the die, the oval die off of the card stock, you end up with a really pretty white border and the stitch marks actually show up a little bit better even. The color I used is called uh, Spun Sugar. It matched the card. And the card that I used was one that I actually got from a friend, a fellow crafter, um, a few months back, and it was a pre-made card. I think we added some design paper to it, but it was really simple. Here's the embossing folders. You get a set of two. It's called the Gilded Design. The paper is taller than the embossing folders, so I decided to leave a section at the top unembossed, and I'll show you what I do with that later. I'm going to grab some of those little pieces um, in that particular um, stamp image, you get uh, 10 stamps in the set. Some of them are little purses and shoes and sunglasses and I thought it'd be kind of fun to dress the girl up afterward and decoupage um, some of them up higher. But what I did for the inside of this card uh, in that section that didn't get embossed was made a little design. I put them out where I thought that they should be, get the Memento Black ink padded up on the stamps and go all the way across the, on the inside of the section where it didn't get embossed. I thought it added a little bit of zing to the inside of the card. It made it look as if it was supposed to be that way. And that's it. That was pretty simple. And there's the card that I told you was already created. We did put some design paper on it. It had a little slits at the bottom so the inside just fits inside. Really easy. And the embossing is just beautiful. The design really does work well. Now this is the gilded uh, label set. All of the gilded line of dies um, coordinate with each other and that's what's really good about the Creative Basics ovals. It does coordinate. There is a die that coordinates directly with the gilded set. So I'm going to make this largest oval and I'm going to emboss it. There's a really pretty section on each of the little tips that you can run your spun sugar distress ink across and make it pop out a little bit better. I'm using a white label because the inside of the card is pink and that will also make it pop up better. Uh, the all dressed up image comes with an actual sentiment that says um, girls can't have too many, a girl can't have too many. And I thought that was perfect for the card and the project um, needed a little bit more sentiment to it, put it that way. And here I am, I'm just going to distress the little sections. You'll see when I pull this out, also I did the inside of this so that it would coordinate with the outside of the card where the image of the girl was stamped to kind of basically match it. You don't want to put too much ink on it, just very light, rub real light, and you can see how pretty that makes it, those two little embossing sections on the die itself pop up. I'm going to grab the Moment token, put it on 
the actual sentiment stamp and center that. It almost looks like the Cinderella mirror mirror on the wall die. I love this die set. It's also available for pre-order. And actually, it's um, been put in a package or a kit uh, at ldrscreative.com so you can purchase all of the actual gilded set with the embossing folders all at one time. A great price. Okay, on the outside, I'm going to put the largest gilded oval down first. I'm going to pop that, the image that's cut with the Creative Basics uh, pierced oval that fits on the inside of the gilded oval. In the center. You can see how much dimension that adds to the card already. Um, a third piece to the gilded oval set is a little, almost want to call it uh, a leaf looking guy. It's just a, sort of like a gilded piece, an extra. I put a little bit of bling on it and I decided to use it down towards the bottom of the card. Um, to give it a little bit more symmetry, but also to put a little bit of weight on the card, on the bottom of the card. It matches perfectly with the other two pieces. Just adds a little bit more bling to the card. It's a very girly card. I'm going to pop that, the gilded label that I've already distressed. Put it in directly in the center of the inside. Pretty that looks because of the white around the edges. And now we get to the fun part. I know a lot of people don't, uh, fuss, don't appreciate fussy cutting, but I happen to be one of those that thinks it's very relaxing. So what I decided to do was kind of play dress up with this little girl, grab some of those other little pieces, stamp them. I colored them with Copic. Um, there's two or three layers of the bow um, around her neck. There's two or three layers of the hat, the center of the rose. Uh, but I had, she has a pearl necklace, and I cut that out on the inside and the outside, and I thought, she doesn't have a hand available out front, but she has that little arm that's kind of bowed in towards her hip, so she's kind of holding both the purse and the necklace in that hand, and I glued those completely down flat to the card. Now, this is a product that, um, when I worked for another design team, it's called Oba Glue. Um, L-I-J-M kit. Uh, no, it's not from this country. I, can, I can't remember what country it's from, but it comes with these really tiny glue holders, almost like a syringe, and this is the best way I've ever been taught and ever saw anyone else uh, uh, do this process because it's such a tiny little amount of glue that, come, that could come out of that end. It's perfect for the um, procedure of layering this glue. And the tool that I'm using here is called Crystal Katana. I got it at CHA last year. It was a new product last year, and it works wonderful for um, colored and uncolored paper alike. You put a little bit of glue down, the katana sticks to the image, and then you flip it over to the side and just kind of move your image to the left or the right, however you want to place it. And the glue does not lay flat. The glue gives whatever image you're trying to bump up almost more than what you would get from a pop dot. Um, and it dries completely hard. The image won't move afterward, and it'll look like you have two or three layers of the old decoupage. Here I am putting a uh, second layer of the bow on the purse. And you can see that glue just kind of laying down there on the bottom, but it doesn't go flat. It stays um, risen, I believe would be the word. We're just going to, and it comes right off of the katana um, as soon as it hits the glue, the glue grabs it, and then you just use the other end of it and move it around. Now I'm not going to um, video, this is uh, a long process, but I'm not going to, you see all the little pieces that I'm going to put on. I'm not going to video every single little piece, but I wanted to show you how simple it is. Everyone looks at people when they do this type of work and they think, oh, how much work that has to be, and I, I couldn't do it. You can do it, 
Um, with the right tools, it makes it much easier. <laughs> if you don't have the right tools, I would suggest you take a look and see if maybe you could find them somewhere. And if you had an interest in it, then, you know, that's what I recommend. You don't have to, but that's what I would recommend. I don't think I would have as much fun doing it if it wasn't so easy. And this little girl is so cute. She's got these glasses, and they're sunglasses. And her eyes are really wide and far apart on the image, but the sunglasses make it look so much cuter when you pop them on there. I fell in love with this little girl. She's just adorable. Sometimes I end up putting the glue on the piece of paper and not on the face because if you, or I did, I did it because on the face, I did, I wasn't positive where the glue had to go. When you're layering an image that's already there, you know exactly where it's got to go. But on the face, I didn't, I wasn't sure and I didn't want to put glue where the nose was um, or the mouth, the little mouth that she has. I didn't want to cover, I didn't want to cover it up completely. So we're going to add, I think it's a third heart now. I think we have three roses all together. Um, I even cut a separate little section of the ballerina skirt that she has on um, so that it can decoupage up with just one little section of it. I have one of the shoes that came with the set. I put it off to the side almost as if she's just walking around in a department store thinking, oh, I want this, and I want that, and I want this. Just one of those small little touches that you can do to a card to make it special. Like when we add glitter at the end. And I did speed this up quite a bit. It doesn't actually go like this fast, but. just so that you can see how it works and you know that you can give it a try you've seen somebody do it that's what it kind of looks like sideways it's quite dimensional um, you can see two or three bows two or three hearts a little rose in her hair there's the inside and the entire project we hope you enjoyed today's tutorial for information on these and more products available at the LDRS Creative Store, visit us on Facebook and our website at www.ldrscreative.com.